Hey guys, so we have the pop sockets that I made with the Jeffree Star Morphe Artistry Palette. And I'm just going to open these little bags back up and pull the backs of the pop sockets back out. So that I can put these back together and I'll give you guys kind of a close up of them. Um, while the camera's up there and then I'll probably do another close up. Um, later on in a future video um, and pull them down. So we did four of the black based ones and four of the white based ones. And then I had some resin left over from those so once we do these I'll show you the other stuff that I did with just like the extra leftover resin. I had a few molds and a couple mini canvases. And then I had the one mold that I've been putting all of the extra resin in just layer by layer for like the last few weeks. So, so these are the bases for the pop sockets. I will have these for sale by the way. Um, so all of my pop sockets will be $5 a piece and if you want your initials put on them or maybe like a heart or a pineapple or you know something small um, that is extra based on what you request it just depends on the cost of that but so we're just gonna take one and we're just gonna pull the tape off the back and everything's ready to go you just work your way around and pop them all back in Babe. Doing a video. Why where'd your camera showing up? Doing a video. Okay, so this one had a little bit of resin that got over. I'm actually gonna have to work on that. There we go. And then I'm just gonna clean up the edge right there. Okay, there we go. Now we can pop it back in. And it's on really good, like you can pull and mess with it. So here's this one. It's actually really pretty with silvers and pinks. And then I'm just going to push it back. I'm going to go ahead and slide it in a case. And it's ready for sale. And we're just going to go down the line and just do the same exact thing. I reuse the tape when I make more. And then we're going to just pop it in. Test it, make sure it's in there snug. Here is this one. Very glittery actually. I like when I order these, they come with these bags that actually have the holes so that you can hang them up. I actually really like that. Okay, and then same thing. Just go around, pop it in, test it out. There's that one. I actually kind of see a pink face in that one. final of the black ones and it also has some resin that dripped over. Um, you can use an exacto knife to do this but I found that just a regular kitchen knife um, I'm actually using a kitchen knife that's actually been broke so I can't use it in my kitchen because the tip is messed up and I actually just use that to pop the resin loose pull it out and put it back together. Sometimes you have to squeeze them to pop it in because they are a tight fit. 
This one's more golds and almost coppers with some of the pink and very little of the silver. So these black based ones are a little darker, kind of like the painting that I made. And then the white based ones are actually much lighter. I actually think I like those better, but I do have a lot of people that like dark stuff. And we just clean up around here. And clean up around here. There we go. These can be made custom, so if there's something specific you want, just let me know. But these are my first batch of Jeffree Star Morphe Artistry Palette resin foam stands. So, take the tape off again, clean the back up. Popped it out, but I didn't get my hand under it in time. <laughs> and all of those little resin scraps can be used for other things. Um, you can use them inside molds to add like a 3D effect. I really like this color, and I think this is either Dog Mom or Want Noise. I'll have to double check. But I'm liking it. It's almost like a peach kind of color. These look so good. I'm super excited about these. The tape. Be careful not to cut yourself when doing this. <laughs> I could have cleaned these up beforehand, but it's good to show you guys what could happen and, you know, how to deal with it. And I think a lot of people want to know that because they want to see every little part. And just so you know, this is the knife. It's curved at the tip. And that's what makes it easier for these kind of applications. Well, excuse you, phone. This one's really pretty. It's brighter and it has less of the black. But it's really pretty. And then we've got one more. Also, these are very sticky, you guys. Um, the sticky that's on the back is the 3M. So it's not like your cheap run-of-the-mill, just whatever. They actually stick really good. I'll show you one that I've got on my phone that I actually made with my first batch. Um, it was the red, yellow, and black ones that we did. In a minute. And I've had it on my phone for about three weeks now. And it holds up really well. I don't these aren't my favorite colors, but I put it there because I was going on a trip and I knew that if people saw it, they would ask about it. And if they asked where I got it from, I could hand them a business card. So, yeah. So they stick really well. I'm really rough with my phones, so they work great. Also, I have these little mini canvases. So I did some little pours with the leftover resin. I didn't prep these canvases at all. I just used my colors. Um, I colored the side with the black resin, but of course it, the edges always drip off, so. Those are kind of cute little mini glitter canvases with Jeffree Star's Artistry Palette. Of course, all of my extra resin from the last few weeks, I've been doing layers in here. So there's a layer on the top that is the mixed black and self-made pink, and then the layer directly under that is wand noise um, and it's not full yet so I'm not demolding it yet because it still has some more and then I took the other leftover resin and I made a clock we're actually going to demold that now 
Um, so this is a Jeffree Star Morphe clock. I actually really like it. The numbers are raised. And I've got to clean it. There's some fingerprints that must have been on the mold. So I'm going to have to clean that. And then you can just go get the clock base and the hands and add on. You can get those at like Michael's and places. And there's some trim that's going to need to be done on the edges. And then that's going to be a really beautiful clock made out of whatever resin I had left over from all of these pop sockets. And then I'll just clean this up again, get all this leftover resin off the edges. And then I'll have it here to use for other projects. So that was a really good mold. I got this mold in Wish. I have a link to the app in my description below. And if you use my link to sign up for Wish, then I earn $2 when you place your first order and it ships. So that helps me to buy more supplies. So just something to keep in mind. I'm super excited about this. Now it is a little bendy right now, but that's because we're only about eight hours out. So it's not fully set. So once it's fully set, it will be firm and it won't move. So we're just gonna set that over here and we're gonna let that finish setting. So. Yeah, I'm excited. I may do more of these soon, but I have a few other projects that I need to get worked on. And then I wanted to give you guys a peek at the Jeffree Star canvas so far. Um, this is the black one that I did with the black underlay. Um, now I did have a few spots like right here where there was like a chunk in the black and a couple over here. And since I want a flat coat, I will probably do a flood coat over this, but the glitter and the colors, especially that pink, that vibrant self-made is gorgeous. And then Nate over here, it mixed in with that silver, um, I think it's called custom rims and it turned out beautiful. There's some Nate right here in with the custom rims and the gold. So it's going to be really nice when it's done. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And this is just a few of the projects I've done so far with the Morphe and Jeffree Star Artistry Palette. It's an eyeshadow palette for those of you who've missed the last few videos. And I've just been breaking it little by little with my knife and using it to mix with my resin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know what you think in the description below, the comments below.